He's a troubadour. He's a Gaelgar. He's in the DNA of this country. And my God, can he sing a song or two? Kurgi Falcha, Gaelyev, Mord, Raven Lech. Lee Mumway Lee! Grmagov. Grmagov Hector. We were just chatting there backstage. I, over the last few years, I did a lot of walking and uh, I actually, I turned off the radio and I turned off the television. I haven't watched the news in 20 years. I never liked it. <laughs> I never liked it. I still don't like it. It's getting worse. And I was thinking, I got, I was, uh, I went for a very long walk one of the days. I actually went over the 5K and, uh, and I got into the water and, uh, and then I, I texted Marion, my partner, and I said, would you like to get out of the house and pick me up? And she said, no, <laughs> finish your walk. So I kept going and I, I had an amazing walk. I walked along the coast road of, of uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a place in the east called Dublin, and I uh, walked along. <laughs> Up the old dubs now, God save. How's it going, the old bollocks? Anyway. Oh, you're only a bollocks yourself. <laughs> um, so I was walking, and there, there's, a, there's a graveyard. There's a graveyard just beside where the Tara Towers used to be, and the Tara Towers is gone now, but that was... Very nice modern building. Very nice modern building. We were very, very proud of it in Dublin. It looked out onto the Booterstown Marsh. And the Booterstown Marsh is a beautiful spot. It's a powerful spot. And um, so there's a graveyard there. And that graveyard was put together. What do you do? How do you, what, do you build a graveyard? Or do you dig it? <laughs> or do you erect it? Do you erect a graveyard? It's kind of a contradiction in terms, isn't it? Erect a graveyard. Sorry, I try. I try. But um, anyway, I stopped in this graveyard and I was sitting there and there was beautiful, there was seeds coming, falling from this tree like, like snow. And it was a gorgeous, like, it was, the way, that, that spring, that first spring that we had where we were all at home was the most beautiful spring. I, was, I had the most intimate relationship with that spring. I'd get up, out of bed, when I woke, and out the door. That's what I would do. Anyway, I got invited to make a podcast. So I made a few podcasts with a few people, and... It was for senior times because I'm over 50 and I'm a senior citizen. I didn't know that. That's a novel idea. They say if you haven't grown up by the time you've reached 50, you won't. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. So anyway, so stand up now and we'll start the... Good, lovely mayor, you did a great job. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But the point was, I decided, what, will, what, what do I want to ask people? And I didn't actually end up asking anybody this, but prophecy has been a part of human culture since the beginning of time. Prophecy. There have been prophets, and different people have been called prophets. And our whole system of what we believe, what we are afraid of, and what we long for, and what we pray for is based on the voices of prophets and those who speak. And everyone has, has their moments of prophecy, and songwriters often might write a song, and 20 years later they go, oh my God, that, that, was, that was interesting. And and then, I, you know, during this kind of thing, the, all the radio was just drip-feeding misery. Like, okay, give me a few facts, fine, but can we have Larry Gogan back or something? 
Um, just misery, drip feeding, and, and I'm kind of going, if, if we were to look at all of these words that, that we, are being, we are being given every single day, every minute of the day, in the pub with the red line underneath it, in the hotel, in the huge screens, everywhere, you'd kind of go, what the fuck is going on? And, and, and I was thinking, prophesy something, prophesy something for me, please, you know, because... With all of that information, and you're asked to prophesy something, you go, oh, the end of the world, the end. It's the end of the world. So, but then, then you go for a walk, and you turn off the radio, and you turn off, the, you close the newspapers, and you put your heart out to everyone on walking this earth. And then you realize there's so much to this every millisecond as we are hurtling through space and all of that. That's it. I'm going to sing a song now from Karna. <laughs> a song and ascending it. The more you go in, the more you go out. I think it's by unplugging from the fucking bullshit that we have been fed day in, day out since we're children. We unplug from that, disempower ourselves, disempower them. We can, sh we can raise this roof. Oron gra three three verse mo gra on he de khins ai
I'd never be asking for applause like that. Oh, come me, So why did Belbaiganamart Maris Jasma? Um, could we turn off the smoke because there's a lot of people coughing I mean it's getting a bit smoky anyway Mashiv
I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way Gone are the dark clouds that have me blind It's gonna be a bright sunshiny day I think I can make it now, the pain is gone All of the bad feelings have disappeared Here is the rainbow I've been praying for It's gonna be bright Sunshiny day Oh. 
Look all around, there's nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead, nothing but blue skies. Blue skies. Blue skies. I think you can. So the chair of my own. Whenever you're ready, gonna be, gonna be. Such any day. 